I just got my latest electricity bill and it's actually negative. And that is because of the journey I've been on for two years now to fight back against all the crazy stuff and rate hikes and things that the electricity company is doing for us here in Southern California. I wanna share that with you today. So in case there's anything that you can actually use to take control of your home energy needs and fight back as well. Let's dive in. Okay, first off, this home is 2,400 square feet. I have two electric vehicles, a Rivian R1T and a Tesla Model Y. It has central air conditioning. We have an induction cooktop and an electric oven. We have an electric dryer, but we do have a gas furnace and two gas water heaters. And then we have a variable speed pool pump. I mentioned all that because those are the biggest loads that we have. And those are all the ones that we're trying to kind of work with in terms of scheduling and how to actually do the jujitsu to maximize your savings here. And yes, I do plan to replace the two gas water heaters and the gas furnace, but at this time, there's not a real big incentive to because they're still working fine and everything like that. So that is what we're working with in terms of the home. Now, between the two EVs and all the other electric appliances I mentioned, we are pulling almost two megawatt hours per month. We are using a tremendous amount of energy. If you look at your bill and you have a home similar size and all that, I'm guessing you're maybe using five, six, maybe 700 kilowatt hours. So we are using just about triple what a normal home in our neighborhood would be using because of those two EVs. And yes, I know the Rivian is very inefficient, but it's awesome. So it's worth it. Now, this whole journey started back when we bought this place in 2020. It really wasn't intended for us to live here, but it was meant for Jenny to do her renovation channel, which I'll link below if you guys haven't seen that. She stopped doing it a few years ago, but there's some fun stuff to get the history. And then for me to film cars, because it turns out that a suburban neighborhood with a big driveway and big garage is about the most ideal place to actually do car reviews. Uh, because everyone else is off at work while I'm here filming and doing my thing. So that was the original intent. So we started redesigning the house back in 2020. We started doing lots of renovations and everything. And then that's where a lot of these upgrades started to come in. And that brings up today's sponsor, 8sleep. A constant struggle my wife and I have is what temperature to set the AC to at night so that way we can get a good night's sleep. She tends to run cooler and always wants it warmer, and I tend to run hotter, meaning I'm ending up sweating throughout the night and not getting much sleep at all. But 8sleep has the perfect solution. It's a cover that goes over your mattress that is liquid cooled and heated, meaning it has this hub which sits outside of your bed and it can independently heat or cool each different side, giving each person, whatever their preference is, the exact perfect temperature for them to get a good night's sleep. I've had this for about a week now and it has made a huge difference in the quality of the sleep I'm getting. But here are the three features that I love about it. One is that it's basically silent. It runs at 30 decibels, which is the sound of like a fan on low. So it doesn't bother us at all. It also has an autopilot feature. So it knows what time I go to bed and it will prep the bed temperature in advance of me getting in. So it's just perfect and ready to go when I am. Another feature I love is the alarm that it has. Yes, an alarm, and it's kind of nuts how it works. There are two types of alarms that it can use. One is a thermal alarm, and another one is a vibration alarm. I've tested them both, and for me, the thermal alarm is the best one because it is silent. There's no noise at all, and it just gradually heats up my side of the bed until I wake up. So if you want to try out 8sleep, they're going to hook you up with $200 off the Pod 4 and $350 off the Pod 4 Ultra with code SULLENS at checkout or by using the link down below. This is on top of the 30-day trial you get to make sure it works for you and your situation. Thanks 8sleep for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the data. And when we bought the house, there were 28 solar panels that are already here. Now they're a bit older, so the efficiency or the output isn't as high as newer ones, but they were already here included in the price and paid for and everything like that. So that was a big win, just starting off with a healthy amount of energy being produced here. So fast forward after a couple of years of renovating it and filming and using it kind of as our workspace. Remember this was COVID during the time, so this was a perfect kind of escape for us we ended up moving in and as soon as we did i forgot to update the bill and everything and just change all the energy usage and all really dial it in we were just so focused on the move that i kind of just spaced it well the outcome was is that our bill shot up to over 800 dollars per month and that's because again we're running the ac and we're charging two electric vehicles at home now so from that point with the over 800 dollars bill that was october of 2022 
we were able just to make some changes to how we actually use our energy and we were able to get it all the way down to $60. So that's a huge percent savings. In fact, I have another video that explains how I got there. But basically, just by changing our usage patterns, we were able to reduce our bill from plus $800 to $60. A huge, huge change right there. And then summer came after that $60 bill and it went back up and we were looking at over $300 per month, mostly to run the air conditioning, which you can't really offset. It has to kind of be done when you need it versus say, you know, running your dishwasher at night or your dryer at night or those kind of things. And that's at the point where I knew I needed to do more. First off, I knew that we needed more energy, but I also knew that we could do a lot more with just batteries. And then in that same year of 2022, later in the year, what happened was the CPUC in California passed a change to the net energy metering laws in the state of California, which reduced your actual credit that you get by sending energy back by about 75%. So. I knew at that time, and I posted videos about it, many of you emailed me and took advantage of this, I had to get a new plan approved and an order in for additional solar panels and anything else I wanted to do, otherwise I would be kicked off my NEM2 rate plan onto NEM3. So I was very lucky and just that's from staying attentive and paying attention to what's going on here, watching videos like mine. And I was able to do that and then add more solar panels without changing the credits that I get by being grandfathered in to the NEM2 rates. So with that, I added 30 kilowatt hours roughly of Franklin batteries with their A-gate. I added 14 more solar panels and those were the high efficiency ones that are 400 watts. They're from REC. I used Hoy Miles inverters, if you're wondering. And I also added a span panel and span EV charger. More on them later. Right now, I'm just gonna talk about the energy usage, but I will go into why I did that and the benefits of why you should consider that as well. Now that whole system, the solar panels and everything else was around $50,000, but there were a 30% tax credit from the federal government, as well as other incentives that we got for doing things like changing out our electric panel. And after that, after we put in those new solar panels and got all the span panel and the batteries and everything dialed in, that's when our bill really started to drop. And our latest one is coming in at a negative $797. Dollars. That's our overall bounce. We were already at minus a couple hundred dollars there. And so that is all enabled by the configurations and sort of the, the jujitsu that I'm able to do here to fight against the weird rate plans and all the extra fees and stuff that they have. So that was really the key step was once I got all the hardware in, I had to figure out how to take advantage of those things and use them to my benefit. And the simplest way to explain this is to say that we buy low and sell high. So from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m., we charge the batteries, we charge the EVs, we offset as many of the loads as we can. We try to run and use as much energy as we can from them. And then because of the batteries, the way it works, we go off grid from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day. We actually go off grid for longer than that, but at minimum, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., we are off grid. Now, during that time, the sun is still shining and we're sending that energy back and getting a ton of credits. So that's how we're able to essentially buy the energy at around 13 cents per kilowatt hour and sell it back at around 60 something cents per kilowatt hour. It's a, a huge shift and is one that we're just taking full advantage of. And it's one that they want us to take advantage of because it levels out the energy needs on the grid, which makes it cheaper for them to run the grid. So that was a lot of information and I intentionally left a lot of the little details out and I'll get to those down the road. There'll be a lot of videos that I'm gonna be doing about this whole setup I have here. So subscribe for that. But also the idea isn't just to save money. The idea is to protect my family against storms or changes that we may not like, like a new rate plan or a rate hike or a fee or just the grid going down. Whatever that case is, a system like this gives me and my family freedom and independence from something that is just critical, it's your home energy needs. So that is a big reason why I love it. Now, of course, that test of that system needs to take place at some point. I have to know whether or not we could survive and for how long without the grid, because that's a big reason why we're doing this. And so I'm gonna do that soon. I'm gonna just disconnect from the grid and see how long we can last. And I did this at my old place with my old Tesla power walls. You can see that in the video up here, but you have to be subscribed in order to actually see the new update when it comes out pretty soon, because I want you to know exactly what would happen if this were you and your home. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you back here next time.